hello everyone uh, today i'll be just explaining you the things which we have in the chemistry software uh, i'll be giving you the brief introduction about chemistry software and uh, this would help you in preparing the lecture videos uh, this is the software having a number of things involved in this um, by which you can actually make your uh, lecture videos especially on the software more interactive uh, it has the facility available for screen recording as well as editing so i would take you step by step for this and uh, explain how exactly you can use it and uh, utilize it so whenever you have the software available this is chemistry c9 i'll just double click on this and uh, it will take some time to open remember uh, the software will not work properly as it is a cracked version if you are using the internet along with this yes so textmith chemistry here we have uh, if you have created any recent files then it would show you over here it also has the tutorials available on the online mode if you are connected to internet but the software creates problem when you are using the internet then you have three options available new project new recording and open project so already created projects you can actually open from here if you want to create a new project or new recording then you can go for this both the options will give give you the almost same scenario i'd prefer to go with the new recording as soon as i'll click on the new recording this would give me in the space to record the things now you can see uh, this is the window i can decide what area to record so it is showing me full screen or customized shape if i'll go for full screen now you can see full screen has been selected or i can arrange it as per my own convenience no such issue is there that what to record after that camera if i want to record i can go for this and audio once i have defined these settings i'll simply press the record button to start the recording we'll click on it and then it will three two one and now it has started recording our audio as well as the screen that i am working on say uh, I'll, I'll open some file so uh, whatever i have to work with that particular thing i'll be doing along with the presentation i'll just uh, reading what exactly i have to do uh, how exactly i have to work each and everything i'll be performing just like um, i do and i'll keep on explaining along with that so what it will do it will uh, record my audio as well as the screen so um, from where you have to start uh, you you will keep on doing that work you will keep on uh, starting that work now you can see this is the first slide okay i had gone through the next slide i'll do uh, over here i'll be explaining some of the things so like this then next thing i'll be okay explaining some of the things over here the next thing i'll be explaining over here likewise i'll continue and uh, once i am done let's say i have completed the recording over here so at that point of time you can simply press f10 key if you are using your laptop then you can go for function f10 as soon as you will do that it will start creating the video in the software you don't need to open anything it will automatically open the software along with the video that you had recorded so far likewise you can re record many videos to create a single project 
in which you will be aligning number of videos you will be going for editing you will be uh, adding some part you will be removing some parts uh, even though you can actually boost your video you can also go for some animations you can go for some highlighters you can go for some text in between that so this is the sorry yeah this is the software we have opened this media bin in this particular part will have all the recorded videos so i would show you that once it once it is available in this video part you will be able to see the recorded things you can even go for inserting a already created video out of availability okay so now you can see uh, this recording is here so when i had started in chemistry here over here it is showing the video track it is showing the audio track okay what i can do is i can select this portion and i can increase or i can boost up the volume so the whatever i had recorded the this particular volume will be more than that this is over here it is showing you the time duration how much you have covered when you go for editing say this particular portion i want to remove so i'll be selecting this portion and i'll simply say cut so what will happen as well audio as well as video for this particular portion will be cut and i'll directly jump on to the next thing so if while recording if by mistake uh, any any disturbance comes or uh, any editing you want then do not stop while recording what you can do is you can skip that uh, portion or you can give some uh, you can take some pause during the recording and when you will go for editing that much portion you just select and cut it off so it would be easy for you to work then uh, likewise you can add number of medias over here if you want to record the second one simply click on this record this would give you the same window you will press the recording once you are done with the recording you will go for function f10 or f10 so that particular recording will be available over here i'll show you the i'll not record the another one but what i will do is i will import some media say in the importing of any media i'll select this video so this that particular video will be available and what i can do i can uh, arrange this at the end of the recording at the end of the project select this right click add to timeline at play head click on it so that video is actually added in the timeline after this so likewise i can arrange it in that manner after that annotations at any point of time i want some annotations to be added you can see there are some uh, bubbles available then arrows are there if you want to go for some specific shape you want to highlight something you want to go for normal curves let's say i will be doing that so at this location i want just this particular thing to be showcased like this now have a look at this what will happen this thing would be added over here and you can increase or decrease of the time of this particular thing as well now i'll just run the, the next slide i'll see. do this is how uh, over here i'll highlight. be explaining some of the things so so uh, these annotations arrows if i want to highlight something by means of circle then i can go for that as well. like this. this is how it will be then i can maintain the all these things be, within my okay, explaining video so even though if i want to go for here, some keyboards the uh, next thing i'll be explaining keyboard, that also here will be possible likewise i'll continue transition how i want to shift and, on to uh, the once i am done other video let's say at the end let's of say, the video 
I'll be going for uh, uh, adding this so that next video would come in that manner. The behavior, uh, if you want to go for uh, the adding the behavior of uh, your videos that you can add. The animation, uh, when we want to highlight some of the portion, let's say uh, I'll be showing you that. Okay, so from here, uh, I'm I'm just clicking on the presentation view button. So for that particular case, what I want is I want that to be highlighted. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm zooming in. So once you zoomed in, after that, what you will be doing, you will be selecting that particular portion, keeping it like this, and uh, you play what. You will keep on uh, starting that verse. Or you can see this is the early first event. slide. So this is how the video would run. Have a look Where you have to start, uh, you you will keep on doing that work. Like this, you will keep and on. until unless until unless you stop this means you make it to the actual size. It will not come down to actual size. Now I have made it actual size. I'll just run the video again. So um, from where you have to start, uh, you you will keep on doing that work. We'll zoom in. You will keep After on that, uh, we'll starting that work again. Now you can see this so is the this is how you can slide. Add okay, the, I had gone through the next slide. I'll do uh, over cursor here. I'll be effect. explaining some of the when things. So to show your cursor like this within the recorded video. Remember this would next be part thing of recorded I'll be video only. Okay, explaining. I'll drag this and paste it in the video. I can define all the parameters of that cursor from here. Now you can see wherever my cursor is in that video, I am able to see that the cursor is available and that cursor will definitely give me an idea or give the learner an idea where exactly my mouse is. So that highlighter is there. Then we have the voice, voice narration if any voice narration we want to give and audio effect any background noise is there then you can go for noise removal volume leveling i'll drag and drop it over here what it will do it will actually level the voice and after that you can increase it fade in fade out as well you can do and finally you can go to media uh, add any number of medias you want align them arrange them and work with them no issue is there uh, cut paste options are there you can anytime uh, cut a specific, a specific portion and paste it over here you can create n number of tracks over here like if you are uh, doing the mixing of some videos okay once you are done with that you will be going for file and save Remember, uh, you you will be saving the project file now. So let's say I'll be saving it on the desktop. I have saved on the desktop, and uh, after that, uh, I can convert this into a video. But uh, one thing is most important: whatever radio, video you have recorded, this particular media file, this particular media file is actually an important file when you have to edit this and this uh, media file will actually be saved in your uh, file document okay so do not delete that file until unless you are completely satisfied with the video and you don't have to use this media file again if you have deleted this file then you will not be able to open your project file and uh, work further so remember this Yes, this will consume some memory, but okay. Once you are done with the rec uh, complete recording of your video, once you are uh, finished with the everything, then uh, yes, you can delete this media file, and even though you can delete the project file as well, no such issue is there. But until unless you are done with this, do not delete this, do not change the location of this particular file from document folder once 
you are done and satisfied with the editing and uh, recording of the video then finally you can go for share local file just to convert this into a video file from here select this mp4 only sizes under all these things are defined go for next define the location where exactly you want this particular thing to be saved and say finish so it will uh, start rendering mm, rendering will take some time once you are done with the rendering the complete video file will be available for you at the location that you had defined so this is how you can actually operate the software and uh, create your videos for your uh, particular lectures thank you